Hi, my name is Eric Hawkins, but you can call me Hawk. I'm a music production instructor and course developer with Berkeley Music, and I'm here today to talk about remixing. So let's get started. So what if you don't have live to load in the remix stems and just open that live session file right up that was in the remix pack? Well, you can load, you can import all of those stems into your DAW, your digital audio workstation, no problem. But the first thing you need to do before you import those stems is make sure that you set your DAW program's session tempo, your master session tempo, to the same tempo as the remix stems, that original song that the remix stems are pulled from. Because if you don't, your stems won't line up to the session's grid the master tempo, the click track. And if the stems don't line up, you won't be able to work on the grid. You won't be able to uh, easily chop and cut out sections of those stems that are on bar and on beat. You won't be able to add in new MIDI performances. You won't be able to uh, mix in tempo synchronized effects. It's going to be a huge issue. So the first thing you've got to do before you do anything else is get that tempo and enter it into your DAW program. So where do you get the tempo from if the tempo is not listed with your Remix Stems pack? If it's not listed on the Remix page, if it's not uh, on a little text file inside of, the, inside of the folder, where do you get that tempo from? Well, on Beatport, it's super duper easy. So let's do that since we're already talking about the Zomboy uh, Remix. We'll just continue with that right now. So let's switch over there. There's the Zomboy remix and let's take a look and uh, figure out what the tempo is. So let's go ahead and click on the music tab and then we will type in here to stay comma zomboy and do a search for that. And there it is. Let's play it and make sure that that is indeed the song. Now that's definitely the song. Let's click on the song here. And the first page we get to just shows us the song. And if we go one page deeper here and we actually click on the single on the EP, the actual title of the single right there, we'll get to this page here that shows us not only the tempo, the style, the key as well. 110 beats per minute, that's what we're interested in. So let's go to our DAW program now and enter, very simply, 110 beats per minute. There it is. And now, now we're ready to import our remixable stems here. So let's go up here, and this is Reason right now, and I will go Import Audio. There's my file with all the Zomboy stems. If I go back up one here, so this is the remix package that I unpacked from Beatport, and there is the live session file, and then below the live session file, they're all just the straight up WAV files. So we can click on that, open up the WAV files, and in most DAW programs, you can select them all and open them right up. Let's do that. And it's going to import them all here. And there they all are. And let's put on this click track so we can check this. Turn up the click real loud here and press play. And let's see if uh, it's in tempo. And that's definitely in tempo. So there you go. That makes creating your remix super easy if you're working on the grid, but you've got to set up your remix stems to come in to be imported on the grid. It's more difficult to set up your remix stems to the grid afterwards. It's easier if you just say, hey, I know what the tempo is. I'm going to set my session tempo to that tempo. I'm going to import the stems and boom. 
they all come in right on the grid and you're ready to work and start remixing. So have fun. It doesn't matter if you're in live, you can still do a kick and remix, obviously. So have fun.